once you check the expression language library, you can then in your X pages use things like this function syntax where you're saying I have an object that I have uh, created as a managed bean or something on the page, and then you can call functions in um, in expression language. Uh, you do have to, and this is in, as I mentioned in the documentation, you do have to prefix it with uh, ex or el colon because otherwise designer won't let you save it if it sees a uh, invalid, it, what it considers invalid expression language, even though with this it is better, uh, but it does let you do these things. There are also a couple other capabilities that it adds. It has a, actually some slightly different behavior, like with uh, X pages ex, uh, expression language, if the if you're saying like foo.bar and if foo doesn't exist, like you don't have a managed bean named foo or you don't have something like that, X pages will kind of silently make that blank, whereas this will actually give you an exception, um, which, admittedly is like kind of a toss up as to which behavior is better. I like the more explicit, this is a problem that you should fix sort of thing. But like that is, there are some differences there because this is the newer version of that technology. That's a change that they made as it went through its various iterations since the time that it was added into, or since the time that it was forked in XPages. Um, I see something that I don't recognize there. Or maybe I've forgotten. What's the DL tag and the DT tag? That's uh, actually, that's just HTML. So that's uh, definition list and then okay. um, definition term and definition definition. So this is, it's kind of a generic way of doing, uh, let's see, where is that? If I go here, it's a generic way of doing like key values. So term definition uh, and gotcha. then by in, in basic HTML, you will get this kind of like, the term is like this, and then the, defini the definition is indented a little. It's a, like a nice little semantic tag that I quite enjoy. Um, yeah, that's that's curious. I've never seen that before. Okay, it, thank you. Yeah, it, it was one where like a couple of years ago I saw it, and I'm like, that's just there in HTML? Like, because there's like a handful of those where it's like, I didn't even know that was a thing, and it turns out it's been a thing since like 1992 or For whatever. A while. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, I should probably start using this because it, it, it's like, a, as, as opposed to if you had like a table where you, the left column was key, the right column is value. Like this gives you a, a, some built-in formatting and it, it's semantically meaningful and all that nice stuff that you can do with HTML. Um, so yeah, that's all that is. So that one isn't even special. You can use that without this project. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that is handy for exactly the sort of thing where I have this is the term that I'm showing, and then this is this is it in practice. So that's how I've laid that out. Um, nice. Yeah. So with EL, you just kind of get that once you enable that, then you have this new behavior. Mm -hmm.